CataractCoach.com, the Evo Vizian ICL for high myopia. The newest version of this phagic IOL is much improved. So here you go. This patient's a very high myope. You can see the patient's been dilated. There's a the paracentesis. And now you need to fill up the anterior chamber gently with viscoelastic. There's some anesthetic going in. Now, importantly in this case, the patient, of course, is young, healthy, phagic, and a perfectly clear crystalline lens. So we're going to put in some viscoelastic. It's a dispersive agent. Most of the time, this is HPMC hydroxypropyl methylcellulose. And get a good fill in the anterior chamber, not overly filled, but kind of a loose fill there. Now, the key in this surgery is you want to gently insert the ICL, which is relatively straightforward. But you want to be careful and not touch the human crystalline lens, lest you induce a cataract. Now, in the old version of the ICL, you had to do a peripheral iridotomy just for safety measure. In this new one, the Vizian Evo ICL, you'll notice as the lens is inserted, there's a central aperture in the middle of the IOL, right in the absolute center, which allows flow of aqueous from the posterior chamber to the anterior chamber. There's the incision. Usually these incisions are about 2.75. And then the ICL is a very thin phagic IOL. It's rolled up already in the injector. The surgeon does that. Now a little more viscoelastic going inside the eye. And then you're just going to insert this. And so it's a very, a very quick and easy procedure here. And as you insert the lens, now the lens has four um, corners that need to be tucked under the iris. So here it comes, getting this in the eye nice and gently. Now, when I was doing this procedure many years ago, and you can search for YouTube for those old videos, I was using the older version. We can do a maneuver where we can get the leading two haptics and maybe even foot plates three and four all with just the injector. But in this case, you can see it's just being placed inside the anterior chamber. And you've got one of those, or perhaps two of them, in correct position. And the other two, they're relatively easy to put where you need to. So you want to tuck all four corners behind the iris. So here's just a manipulator. And you can use that manipulator to gently just push that lens into position. It's a very thin, very flexible lens. Now, in the U.S., most commonly, these are used for highly myop myopic patients who are usually not good candidates for LASIK. So... The range here that's available, you can look up, depending on what country you're in, but you can see there's that last foot plate there, and that's going to be tucked under the iris very gently, again, not uh, interfering with or touching the crystalline lens. And once that's in the good position, you can see you're basically done. Now, this lens does also come in toric versions, which you can get custom for your patient, and you can line those up at the particular meridian or axis. Now, look at that one haptic. They're still not appropriately placed, so we just got to spend your time. No big rush here. Get it positioned where you want. And that's why they have also two paracentesis to give you that full access. So now it's just that top right corner, which needs to be just gently tucked under there. And these lenses are size appropriate for each patient. And so... When they go in, they'll fit very nicely in the sulcus and they'll be nicely vaulted. Also, by having that central aperture there on the IOL optic, this phagic lens optic, it not only allows flow of aqueous through there, so you don't need the profilidotomy, but it also helps maintain a healthy little gap there, a vault, so that the back surface of this phagic lens is not touching the anterior lens capsule. I think that's a big improvement here. And so once you get in the right position, then this patient is basically, you can dial it up a little bit like this to get the torque lens marks aligned. And then you just basically, I like to also bring down the pupa a little bit with a constrictive agent like myocol, and then you need to flush out the viscoelastic. Now to take out the viscoelastic, I think a bimanual IA approach is the best. And think about this, to have chamber stability with the bimanual IA approach, perhaps have the uh, inflow of fluid a little bit more than your outflow of fluid. Now, those keep a sufficient amount of infusion pressure so they keep the AC nicely filled at all times. These incisions, of course, are self sealing. We'll just hydrate them up and they'll seal up nicely. But Vizian ICL is a neat procedure in my clinic, so I'm happy to offer this to patients. The catch is that there, in the population, fewer patients who are very highly myopic, like this patient. And most of the patients who are of low degrees of myopia tend to favor LASIK, PRK, or some other corneal lenticular procedure. But again, as surgeons, we want as many tools in the toolbox as possible. And I'm so happy that we have this Evo Vizian ICL available now. 
Thanks for watching.